a Tuesday, which means art day. But I'm also helping my sister move for a couple of hours and uh, picking up her babies. Look at this sunshine. Me and Sandy have just had lunch out here. Gorgeous. bits that I want to work on right now <laughs> apart from the only thing to add I need to just do the details in the eyes maybe I'll do that digitally um, Sunday's on a walk it's the end of the day in terms of daylight so I'm going to get dinner for him something on for us take him out I think I need it and then finish the other one which is going to take many hours this is my desk currently. Can't wait to be done. And I'm working in the studio. I'm just going to show you. Uh, so <laughs> I'm working on the illustration commission. It's getting there. I just thought I'd share with you. I just got out my nib pen. See that? And I'm actually going to go over some of the features in my burnt sienna ink before I um, before I paint it out properly. Um, just want to see how that goes. Where can I prop it? So you can watch.
All right, do you want to come outside with me? Take a cup of tea and say hello to the guy. Sandy, this way. Oh, he says we're going this way. Okay. Oh, it is actually a warm day. Oh my God. It's hard to believe, isn't it, Sandy? Sorry. Hello, my friends. Oh my god, do you see that? It's actual sunshine. It actually feels warm ish. <laughs> and um, I am on the last day of the illustration. Um, at least the main illustrations. <laughs> There's some digital stuff I have to do, and I'm designing the actual cover for this commission. So I'm um, trying to get better at looking at you there. Okay. Um, and it really feels like the first day of spring. So I thought maybe we could wander around the garden together. What do you think? Um, before I get launch into the actual work. Um, I let myself have a decent night's sleep so that I could work really productively today. Just gonna do a couple more jobs and I'll take you around to the side garden. I don't stay out late, no place to go. I'm home about it, just me and my radio. Just 
Well, you know, the God. Mm -hmm. Beautiful day, hasn't it? Look at the bees. Completely perishing, and that I have not done anything to do. Some of the silver that said you know last night. The shelf is completely empty apart from the cacti. It's the herb courtyard. It smells like honey. <laughs> um, spring is here. I'm feeling much better last couple of days I've had a couple of rough weeks mental health wise daffodils um, the sunshine does help the cup of tea in the garden how pretty is that <laughs> so I'm looking forward to having this illustration done and uh, it's going to be another week or two before it's all finished and ready to go to the printers. <laughs> I just want to show you my my guy over here. <laughs> my loyal lion. How beautiful is he? Look at that. Gorgeous jockey. We don't get much sunshine in the backyard. <laughs> Yes, I might take a few rays too. This is where I started my illustration journey, I guess. Right here in this spot. There used to be a great big wattle tree here. There's still the stump from it. Sadly, they don't live very long. Um, but I, when my son was born, I had him in a little bassinet. Bouncer. Right there. And I sat out here under the wattle tree which had the most beautiful dappled canopy we used to sit out here a lot we had a coffee table and we had a couch at one stage and there was a bird feeder hanging down and I started my series of Australian children's fairies no children what do they call them Australian flower children oh dear the years have Addled the mind. I only made six um, in the set of cards. So there's a couple of extras that I was never particularly happy with. Um, but I did sell them. Um, I travelled around to all the nurseries and I got a couple of repeat orders. <laughs> um, but there were a lot of labour back then. They were sweet, but they weren't... Uh, it was not a scalable... <laughs> project as they would say these days um, without printing and distribution but it was it was fun to make something from nothing we had to do that a lot back then or tried to do that and uh, it was beautiful to sit in the uh, native garden with my son and let me show you around
the studio. I worked last night, just an hour or so, and made good progress. <sighs> Should I have the camera back for that? You see all my the flaws in my skin. You're very used to them by now. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so that's where it's at. I've got my references. Those two little face studies. And <clears throat> I wiped his paintwork off all completely last night. And we did some of that. Feels better. I did a bit of forest over here, which isn't even going to be in the cover. <laughs> but satisfies me. The light on the rocks. I've changed the lighting a bit after playing the digital version. Dropped the tone so that everything's a little more unified <clears throat> in the background. There's one big thing I'm still contemplating, which is the lighting on the maze. I've lit it from the side because the faces are lit from the side, but in fact, I don't think it reads correctly at a glance. I've got, if you see that version there, it's lit from the top. This is the strongest light, which is much more natural. I've been looking at hedges, and even with side light, it seems that the top light is still strongest, which is interesting. So I think our minds, to make sense of a shape like that in three dimensions, might need to see it lit from above. Now, having said that, I will... Oh, you're in massive hair. Okay, so having said that, um, and I'm going to practice trying to look at the lens, not the image. Um, there we go. Um, I'm going to scan this in so that I have that version as well if I want to use that maze. Because in fact, I've painted that maze probably about three times to get it the way that it is. <laughs> Me know how this can go. I can end up painting over things a million times, as I have with his face. I think we're on version number seven or eight. Anyway, I'm going to get on with it. Got just a couple of things to resolve today, I think, and do some scanning. Maybe work on the other piece as well.
Mm-hmm. 